Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from, God bless you. We have had several people who have had their miracles and their testimonies delayed, not because the Lord is no longer answering prayers, but because of what you are going to watch in this short movie. Yeah, it was actually acted, but... It is beyond acting because this is what is happening. I, I am sure that most of my viewers here are Africans. You might be in the diaspora, but you know, the problem I have is that some of us having left the church of Africa, try to make it look like they are no longer Africans. They want to pretend to be white men and women but you are not that which is inherent within the system and where you are from you cannot wish it away you can deny your race you can deny your root but actually you can never escape it so i would like you to watch this little drama here and i will come back to make one or two statements about it because it is actually real. This may be the reason why you or that person you know may have not had her testimonies. God bless you. Stay tuned and don't go anywhere. My uncle took my auntie to the hospital. Hey, don't tell me I'm a guy fainted. No, oh, God forbid. Nothing is wrong with my auntie. It's just that she started seeing signs that the baby is about to come out. So my uncle took her to the hospital. She started seeing signs? Yes. That the baby wants to come out? Yes. You're a child. You don't you know, understand these things. No, nothing is wrong with my auntie. My auntie left for the hospital to go and give it. Are you sure? She was showing signs of somebody that wants to give birth. Yes. No, there's nothing wrong with my auntie. She left for the hospital to give birth. So what's You're very sure? Yes, I'm very, very sure. You are sure that she started showing signs? Yes. Are you uncle to go to the hospital? Yes. Okay. And do wait, are you going to the hospital? I'm not Let me get you. No, no, no. Wait for me. I'm not going to the hospital. Baba, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? Baba, you told me that anybody that you tie, that nothing on earth can ever untie that thing. That nobody can untie it. Which is correct. I said so. Baba, me and Amaka were married into the same family. It's been five years now. She has had her first child, which is a boy. Now, she is on her way to the hospital to have another child. I haven't even conceived for my first child. Talk more of second child. Now, people are using her as an example and mocking me and calling me barren in return. That was why I brought her here, so that you would tie her. So that she, she, she will not be able to, 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 to give birth. But now she's on her way to the hospital. And uh, you expect me to be happy. <laughs> um, I have a question to ask you. Madone Kichi Ikukumo Kenyeye. It's not possible. Now, let me tell you. Whatever, anything, any substance, any material that is tied in this shrine by Akede, nobody born of a woman can untie it. No 
supernatural power can untie the person. So what I'm trying to tell you is this. Her case is closed. I personally allowed that girl to go to the hospital because I don't want that accusing finger to come towards you. If anything happens to that girl in the house, now that they are aware that you've been having one or two issues with her, they will be pointing their eyes. Before you know it, they will take you to Google or to any shrine to take or, or swear an oath to show that you are innocent. I allowed them to go to the hospital so that the girl would die in the hospital while people will be crying. They will be pointing the eyes to the doctors or to the hospital in large. I am not an amateur and I don't do apprentice in this business. This is an inherited gift. Go. She will not only die in the hospital, but she will die with the child. Baba, are you sure? Madam, asking me if I am sure, you are trying to provoke. In fact, you want that kid to show his wrongs. You can go. Go and share your testimony. I believe by now you should be smiling. Okay. No problem. No problem. I will, I will, I will come back with the news. Eh? You said I should go. Thank you, Mother. Yes. Auntie, Auntie, welcome. It's everywhere, yes. Why are people crying? Crying? Yes. Nobody is crying now. Uh, uh, I can hear. Can I hear people shout? Hey, don't tell me Amaka and the baby did not survive. Hey. Don't tell me Amaka and the baby died. Hey! What are you talking about? Who did not make it? Amaka now and the baby. That's why everywhere, everywhere is noisy. Don't cry. Don't cry. My auntie, Auntie Amaka, just returned from the hospital. And you know what? She gave birth to a bouncing baby boy. In fact, due to how safe she delivered, the doctor discharged them immediately. Right now, to the glory of the Lord, both mother and child are in perfect condition. Come and see our baby now. Wait. Amaka and the baby are alive. Yes. She did not die. She actually delivered. Safely. Is it a baby boy? Yes. Baby How mother. so baby boy? Hey, come and see our baby. <laughs> I'm buffing. Where Me and Tawai are coming to reach you. See, now if you know where you kept my goat, enter there and bring my goat and give it to me now. Your goat? Just go to wherever it is you kept the goat and bring it out for me. I want to take my goat and go. Ego na gadu skun. Hmm. Hmm. Before you go, you want to go about it. Hey. You don't got any shoes. Oh, you begin your new name. Give it to Ego. Zut Ego with Tenga. Just look at you. Just look at you. You don't even know what to say. Liar. Madam. Fake man. Let me tell you. You told me that that woman will not have that baby. That you just allowed her to go to the hospital. Now, not only did she get to that hospital safely, she had that baby. She also had another baby boy. Liar. You lied and deceived me. I don't want to again. Just go inside and give me my goat. Let me go. Madam. Let me make it clear to you. The moment you left this place, it was revealed to me that that woman that you are fighting, people like you cannot do anything. She is covered by a supernatural power. That that power, at the mention of that name, that every knee must bow. Every mouth will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. When you left this place, it was revealed to me that that woman can give birth like the Hebrew women because it's the promise of God to the people of, or in fact, people of his kingdom. Who will say when Jehovah needs to have not spoken? The woman that you are fighting is covered by the man they call Elohim. 
the lion of the tribe of the Judah, the king of peace. The man that divided the Red Sea for the Israelites to pass. And let me warn you, the earlier you, live, you give your life to Christ, better for you. Happy now, God, you we hand that. You know this is just coming from your mouth. Right? Yes. I heard that. Material is in the corner where the corner is going to be. So you know that there is something called supernatural power. Huh? And you know about the Hebrew women too. <laughs> yes. So you know that there are Hebrew women. No, I don't know. So you know there's there, there's another supernatural power. Mm. And you deceived me. It shall never be well with you. It shall never end well with you. It shall yeah. never be well with you. My God will punish you. My God will punish you. Wicked man. Fake human being. We are all born. I'm going to have him. Yes. God punish you. Who? <laughs> who will say when my God has not spoken? Who do you think you are? I serve the God of <laughs> Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. For the first time, I'm not here with a woman for that. You are young, I'm not here with a woman. 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 I'm not Ganga <laughs> So you are welcome. I just want to quickly tell you that many people are busy being bitter at heart, whereas their miracle is very close, you know, to them. Now, take for instance, if you are in business and you have a neighbor and probably the two of you or the three of you neighbors are doing the same kind of business and you came out in the morning and uh, it's like, the first customer went to your neighbor, but the second one went to your neighbor, but the third one went to your neighbor, bought half and entered your own space. And probably that will be the first person that was coming that time. Or that even the people that bought you know, from your neighbor came and priced yours and left, went back to your uh, neighbor and bought. And you were like, what is happening? And you know, this kind of a thing has a way of building up bitterness within you. Now, the third person that, that comes in that would have actually bought from you. Now, the bitterness of the ones you have not sold, the ones that you didn't see, or the ones that came in and didn't buy, had accumulated right there in your mind. And so when this third person came in, and he would have bought, and you gave him price, and he told you how much he wants to pay, and you you now unleashed your bitterness based on your frustration of the ones you have not sold. But and because you are not happy that your neighbor has been the one selling, now the third person that should have, or this very person that should have been the person that would have at least bought from you, now you unleash your frustration on the person. Now the normal and natural thing that will happen is that that person will also pick himself up, go back to the same neighbor of yours who has been selling and will buy. And then at the end of the day, it will be like your neighbor is using charms. Now you need to find out what you are not doing well and what that your neighbor is doing best. Now sometimes, you know, out of bitterness, we go out of our way to want to block the way of the other person. But you see, God is a beautiful God. You see, until God sees in our heart that we are grateful for the blessings of God upon the life of a certain individual and we are thankful to God and in anticipation believe that our own is coming, God may not actually release that. So the best way to you know, attract the favor of God 
It's not to be angry because somebody somewhere is doing better than you are. It's not to be angry because that your mate suddenly seems to be doing better than you are. It doesn't matter how the both of you started. The truth is that God is the one that gives good blessings that makes rich and adds no sorrow to it. So instead of being bitter and then even devising a means of discrediting the person, now maybe this person is working with you in the same organization and she seems to be favored more than you and you are. Now you need to find out what is it that he is doing or she is doing that you are not doing because sometimes everything is not very is not spiritualized you know sometimes there might be that there is an aspect of his or her work that where he is better where she is better the way she pays attention to details and how he handles clients and customers that comes around may be quite different from the way you so, do your things sometimes we need to look into our lives this woman married into the same family with the so-called neighbor and you know the other one has had the first one and the second one and herself for five years have not had one instead of turning to god for her own miracle to be um uh, approved by god she went away even will be happy that that woman dies you know but then the ways of god are past finding out that is one and secondly even though that it is you know it was dramatized but i want you to understand that there is nothing other than the truth about it. If you are a child of God, be sincere. Let your hands be very clean. You know, for he that must come to equity must come with hands, you know, pure and clean. Now, endeavor that your service to the Lord is of a spiritual value. For God is a spirit and they that must worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. If you are a child of God, and you are serving the Lord in total obedience and you do your duty to be sure that you are having constant fellowship with the Lord and your prayer life is not affected by the things of this world. God will always fight for you the battle that you, you never knew or you never know. This woman that was being fought here by this other person never knew anything that there was such thing that was happening, you know, at her back. But this other person will always pretend to be good, you see. So that is um, a very big lesson for us to learn. If you want to be blessed, please be happy when others are being blessed. Rejoice with those that rejoice and don't forget also to mourn with those that mourn. Don't rejoice over a person that is mourning. But in your rejoicing with the person that is rejoicing, God will be moved that you are not evil at heart. May the good God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Till I come your way again, keep praying, keep hoping. No matter what it is that you are looking up to God for, don't give up and don't envy that person that seems to have gotten that. Your own time is coming. God's time for you is the best. Listen to me, your, your, your neighbor or your mate may have may have you know a built house or bought good cars maybe three four five years ago and god had this determined that your own time will be seven years after they have built these houses or they have bought these cars you know that when you will build your own house it will be far better than that one that that your neighbor or that your mate built in his own time because your own will be the new model, the latest model. Now, when your own car is parked side by side, his own car, people will appreciate, wow, this is new. Now, so God's time is the best. There is never a time that God has been late in people's life. So he will not come late in your own life. He's not late in people's lives. He will not be late in your own life. God bless you. From me to you, shalom.